Indian food, one of the most misunderstood culinary wonders in the world. It's foreign, yet strangely familiar, spicy, often centered around soup-based dishes, grilled items, creamy creations, and savory delights. The textures and characteristics, something we often recognize and enjoy. Today, I had the pleasure of visiting the biggest Indian buffet in Las Vegas, Delhi Indian Buffet. It's run by a virtuous man, Krish, who happens to be one of the warmest and most welcoming individual I've ever met. He pours his heart into what he does. He's going to show us how authentic Indian food is crafted right at the heart of Las Vegas. show us everything here how they make the naan which is the bread that uh, comp comprise the basically Indian staple you always eat this bread with all the dishes that they have so really really cool because they're gonna show us everything here Yeah. With uh, uh, the tomato gravy, we make it here, mm -hmm. tomato gravy, and then the onion gravy. All right. And then uh, we put some cream, yeah. cashews, um, you know those things, yeah. to mm -hmm. make it like a uh, flavor. Very, right. Very, so basically very all these are really authentic. Authentic taste, yeah. We, we prepare everything here. And gravy, uh, and uh, tomato gravy, uh -huh. and uh, that's the chicken breast. We already bake, uh, you know, cook. Pre cooked, yeah. Pre cooked, bake, bake, you know, like uh, half done. Half done, okay. Uh, Nice, very soft. You can, you can really smell how good the aroma is and it's starting to build up those really good smell of Indian spices that they have here. It's really amazing. You can see how good they are. I think so far what I've seen, um, I'm really excited about that uh, goat that they have. So goat carry and they have a chicken carry there as well. So those are the ones that really caught my eye here. And there's one here, it says gulab jamun. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm gonna try it. First meal here. So it looks like I have some, you know, fried 
basmati rice with some probably some curry it looks yellow and they have this goat curry right here and some some bread naan bread with uh, garlic and some spring onions I'd, I'd say so yeah really excited to try this it's gonna be my I, I, I've ate Indian uh, food before and uh, you know you'll be surprised you, you, you think it's gonna be uh, too much of a deep flavor and all that it's not gonna be pleasant but from my experience Indian food is really good that's why I'm here mango lassi I think this is uh, I'm not sure what it is but I'm assuming it's mango uh, and then we're gonna try that right now as well mm. Wow oh okay yeah so yogurt and mango mm. Wow that's really pleasant that's really like um, you know the, those type of drinks that you would like to drink during summertime this is it this is gonna be it oh yeah that's really good and I want to try their bread first I think this is what they call naan I'm not sure you know correct me if I'm wrong uh, if that's how you pronounce it and try this goat curry that they have Let's give it a scoop right here oh yeah look at that Goat curry with naan bread. Oh wow. Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow. <laughs> First bite, you'll know that, that that's goat. There's this distinct flavor of uh, goat. Definitely, if you haven't had goat before, goat have that distinct flavor that when you eat it, oh yeah, that's not pork, that's not chicken, that's not beef. That's uh, that's definitely good. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Wow. Flavor of the goat right there. Wow. Really amazing. Tender, juicy goat, and the bread, fluffy, garlicky. It really complements the the dish itself. Mm. And let's taste that with basmati rice. Uh, this basmati rice have some vegetables on it. I think make, mixed vegetable. And it's kind of yellow too. Um, get some goat on top. Wow. Mmm. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah. I like that there's a spiciness to this goat. And the basmati rice. Oh yeah. It's really kind of like juicy. It's not dry at all. It's fluffy. Oh wow. So first plate. That's really good. Uh, I really like the flavor, the texture, especially the goat. I think it's been a while since the last time I've eaten goat, but this goat, Indian curry, really amazing. So I got a bit of everything this time because the last time I only had the goat on my second plate I almost got everything so let me just show you here so this one they call it tole I think it's just some sort of uh, soup with chickpeas on here chicken tandoori and uh, vegetable samosa never tried vegetable samosa before uh, it's some sort of uh, you know it looks like egg roll to me except that it's triangular uh, I have some or original authentic chicken curry and this one is chicken tikka masala and some chicken biryani here that we're gonna try as well uh, try that first 
Mmm, kind of like potato uh, in smaller size. Mmm, oh yeah, that's really good too. Salty, savory, amazing. Let's try the uh, chicken curry that eat, they have. And then... Mmm, herby, deep flavor to it. And the aroma, oh wow. The vegetable samosa. Mmm, I'm surprised. This is really good. Never had this before. Mmm, oh look at that. I think that's a uh, potato inside and some green peas. But it's really crunchy. Crunchy, light. It's kind of salty outside and airy crispy as well. Mmm. Well, that makes it like a really good combination. It's like mushy inside and crunchy outside and airy. Chicken tandoori. Give that a try. Basmati rice as well. Mmm. It's kind of spicy, but nothing really too overpowering, but nonetheless, it's kind of spicy. Um, chicken tandoori, uh, you'll think that it's kind of dry, right? But it, it was really moist and tender and kind of like a chicken jerky, sort of. Um, lots of spices on there um, and some aromatic flavors. Wow. Indian spices. I think uh, it's time for their dessert. Uh, there's this uh, dessert here that I want to try. I've never tried this before. It's called uh, gulab, gulab jamun. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Oh, it's so sweet. I think there's kind of like a, a pancake texture to it. But it's more creamy. And I think in the middle, there's some sort of uh, cream in there. Like milk cream. Like condensed, condensed milk cream. Mm, some sort of like custardy flavor. I like it. At first I was like, what is this? But turns out to be really good. Mmm. <laughs> oh wow. It's just really too sweet though. Mmm. Mmm. Definitely that's that's really amazing and really good. Creamy pancake texture wow wow that's it's really amazing uh, whenever I go to an Indian restaurant uh, what I really like is their curry deep flavor something that you won't get in any other type of cuisine but Indian cuisine and I've discovered something new the, the dessert gulab jamun is wow really amazing but you will probably need one or two that's it because it's a little too sweet for me but other than that uh, really enjoyed the food here um, definitely come back or maybe I'll try a different one uh, but this is the biggest Indian buffet in Las Vegas so if you haven't tried before I recommend this place kind of quiet not a lot of people during this hour or because today today is like weekday so probably weekends are gonna be really busy in Indian uh, Indian people probably be here and eating a lot here so I can see that uh, family and all that so there's this uh, there's this uh, vibe to the food where you kind of feel like it's you know it's like food made from home home cooked food right so yeah 
definitely that's really good amazing stuff um, yeah so if you enjoy this video you subscribe to my channel food and beyond click the notification bell down below so you're updated with my latest video and uh, I guess that's it for today and I'll see you in my next food adventure please uh, subscribe the food and beyond and uh, check out the uh, biggest biggest buffet in Las Vegas